but you know they're not quite ready, so we just gotta pray for them. <laughs> but you know your heart doesn't your heart just go out to people like that. Amen. Yeah. It's coming to Yes, and she's so sweet, she asked me. By the way, is this microphone working? Okay, okay. You got your coin thing, so whatever that was on that thing. <laughs> I, get, I get loud. Just Come on, to, just, just shout. Sure. Just shout. Sure. Just shout. There's some shouting yeah. folk up in here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll be balanced tonight. And the, if we, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. liberty. Hallelujah. Okay, so Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, can we have liberty? And will you keep the sound down for us? Do we want, want to cost him any money? Or come on, we have to be balanced. But I still want to get excited about it. Amen. Amen. Quiet. How All right. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Yes. Yes. Quiet. Come on. Oh, my goodness. Well, she asked me, this precious woman just asked me if I had a bio. I don't like to stand up here and talk about myself. I really don't. Uh, but, but, but here's the... Is since I don't have a bio to, to give all of you, I just want to offer this to you. This is my book, my testimony. And Gerald Jones, where is where's your son? Is he in right now? Uh, he is in. He stepped out for a minute. Okay. We have a stack of books. That we, that's all we have left for, for sale. Oh, right here they are. We just needed mm -hmm. some place to put them. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is the, the book that they're turning into a movie. We now have a third oh, uh, company that's offering us, you know, so we have a choice, thank God. All right. To say, who are we going to work with? Amen. And I want to go with the world, to be honest with you. That's mm -hmm. it. There you go. That's right. My book is going to be, or my movie is going to be rated R, because I'm going to go where the lost are. Come on. Yeah. Say that. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're already there. Mm -hmm. We need to get into the lost. That's and it's it. not for the, it's not for any customers. Sure. No, it's for the violence that took place in my life. Mm -hmm. So I legally can have it rated R. And it'll attract the, the world yes. to say, hmm, I wonder what this is about. Yes. So anyway, we have to go be all things to all, all men so that we might win. So, so thank you. Oh, you all know the world. Yeah. Right, now, every one of you from Pastor Dion's church. Hey, bless you, bless you, bless you, thank you. I love this man. I have had conversation with him over the phone, and I fell in love with his spirit, and I said, oh, my goodness, I cannot come to, just wait to come and meet you and your and your church. So for the rest of you that are visiting, thank you. Amen. I know he appreciates it. Thank you for Amen. coming. I really Amen. feel respect. Amen. Amen. Let me just run through the pile of books real quick. I, I will tell you a little bit about this story later on. Uh, this one is called Why Does God Allow It? Seven Biblical Reasons for Disasters on Earth and How to Prevent Them. Okay, I'll get to that later. This one is of a gentleman who was healed in one of our meetings. He had six weeks to live. He had a blood disease that the doctor said, forget about it. You cannot go into a room where there's anyone that may have germs because you will die. Oh, You're, wow. Is it the red blood cells? I don't know all this medical stuff. Any medical, medical people in here? Anyway, he just could not be around anyone with a cold. He was going to die. He said, no. Dr. Hope said, and I said, I wish you wouldn't have said Dr. Hope said, he said, the word works. All right. If I speak the word, it will happen. Amen. And he did, and it happened. Wow. And he's on yeah. the club. We have another book. Uh, this one is called Twice Dead, Now I Live. Any of you that might have heard about my testimony, I have been to heaven twice. And I'm proud of it. All right. Not 200 times. I'm not crazy. I didn't die. It wasn't an accident. It wasn't high. I wasn't drunk. All right. I just went to Man. sleep. Woke up, and there he was. This gentleman had an out-of-body experience, but he went to hell twice. Once wasn't enough. And it was all due to unforgiveness. Oh, see? But let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it go. So I, I said, I want your book. And it sold out last night. This is the only one I have left. So here they are. For all of you, and Gerald Jones has has some there for you. This is Ger Gerald Jones is my ministry help, and this is his mother. Yeah. Everybody say hello to mom. Yeah. Hello, mom. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming tonight. I appreciate that. Oh, you're welcome. We'll honor your son as soon as he walks in the door. By the way, is that camera working okay? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Do you, you want to sit down? Seat, so you want to sit down here? We don't want to. We, we want to make there. everybody comfortable. Okay. And if you want to move around after a while, if you get tired of sitting, I would like that too. And scan the crowd very carefully for me because I want all of you smiles, beautiful smiles on the television show. Okay. Dr. Hope, I thank you for coming on a Saturday night we're in Seattle, Washington to, to, to share a little bit. I, I won't keep you long because I want you to worship the Lord when we're done speaking tonight. It's all about Him. It's not about any of us. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Let's go. My, my, if, if you all have your Bibles? Okay, you all have your Bibles. Did anyone bring a pencil and a paper? Yes. Okay. If you didn't, I want you to gather your your pencil and your paper because I have some good news. All right. When, when I leave, 
You don't have to remember who Gabrielle Hope is, but I want you to remember what I have to say. Amen. Okay? Amen. So sometimes we forget. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been in church, pastor, where's my pastor? <coughs> and you say, oh, it was a great sermon. Oh, yes, wasn't that good today? But what was it about? <laughs> um, you know, that was a nice sermon. I don't want that to happen when I do. Okay. I want you to remember what I said. <coughs> if you get one nugget out of this, that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 50 says what the devil intends for bad, Come on. God yeah. has turned yeah. for good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the entire message of what I want to preach right. to you tonight. Sure. But inside that message is one word, and it's spelled L-O-V-E. -E. We have all the gifts, but where's the love? Three. Yeah. Pastor Neon, where do you go? Okay, there we are. <coughs> when, when my friend Gerald Joan, if, if you have any questions about that camera, just check with him because I really want at least five minutes of this on there. <laughs> That's good. Okay, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20. Is everyone there? Joseph had just been betrayed by his family, of course. 20 years of not having any visitation, conversation, cell phone, email with his daddy, his best friend. And now his brothers are facing him at his father's funeral. He had every legal right at that point to put his brothers in jail. He was the vice president of the nation, if you will, I'm going to put it in today's terminologies. He had all the authority, and yet he looked at his brothers who were looking at him in fear, and he said, don't you get it? His enemies, looking at his enemies, folks. In your mind, I don't want any names, I don't want any hands raised. Place your enemies in your mind and look at them right now in your mind. You say, don't you get it? What the devil intended for bad, what you tried yeah. to do bad to me. God. I'm glad you did because God yes. turned it to good. Yeah. Hallelujah. Ha ha. Uh -huh. I get double good for my trouble. That's it. Amen. Amen. Right? Minimum. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for every negative thing, you know how we like to write down boo hoo boo hoo boo hoo me sometimes. Mm -hmm. Why don't you write down yay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. Y-E-A. Listen, Yahoo means praise the Lord. Yeah. Let's write down Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 2 and 3. H-A-B 2, 2 and 3. Write your vision down and make it plain. Right. So write down double good for my trouble. So for every negative thing, write down two positive. Mm -hmm. Out of every negative thing, something good always right. comes out of it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. And if we focus and we think on these things, Philippians 4... 18 and 19, please dwell on these things whatsoever is pure, whatsoever is just, whatsoever is loving. Dwell on these yes, things. Lord. Yes, Remember. Lord. Thank you. Amen. Okay. If we kept a positive attitude, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. imagine if all of us on earth that are the body of Christ yeah. kept a positive attitude and literally did stand in unity. Can you imagine the positive words that would come out? How our lives would follow our words and the yeah. devil would cover his ears in shame. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 23, 29 says, Is not my word like fire, like the hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Mm -hmm. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. If we only spoke more word than gossip. Amen. Amen. Oh, where would we be? Amen. 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 Now, Genesis chapter 50, verse 20, when Joseph was looking at his brothers, I can imagine that all kinds of things were going through his mind at that point. All of us have lived it. Everyone in this room has had disappointments, rejection, right, right. something negative happened to us. Especially in this economy. Even if you lost your job and you didn't think you should have lost your job, fired from your job, what have you? Anything to do with finances, to your favor, your future, all the above, your family, the devil, What's that the is that his job to disappoint you. I learned the power of forgiveness. Right. That's, beautiful. That's, beautiful. That's beautiful. It is so wonderful. Mm -hmm. The worst enemy you have when you can look at him and say, it's okay. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to yes, teach you just two simple things. Please, two yes. simple things. When you learn the power of forgiveness, I've, listen, the worst thing you can tell somebody when they've just been hurt is, you know you got to forgive them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you why. There's a timing in everything. Amen. 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 The word of God is power, life, 